What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 13.7, 13.6.1, 13.6 and 13.5.1 jailbreak for the A12 devices. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans and their contest Remember with AnyTrans where you can win the new AirPods Pro or the Apple Music subscription. All you have to do is to share your favorite music lyrics with the hashtag Remember with AnyTrans to get a chance to win. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably remember a while ago I talked in multiple videos about this developer in here and this vulnerability which was initially for 13.6.1 and 13.6 on the A12 and A13 devices and they said in here they actually managed to obtain custom built kernel read and write primitives completely getting rid of TFP0 and they will make it public when appropriate hashtag jailbreak but then later confirm the fact that it's working with 13.7 which of course was the latest version before the 14.0 and 14.0.1 were released. Well today we have more information about this vulnerability we finally have an estimate on when we're going to get this vulnerability so that we can finally update the uncover for 13.7 and lower. Now this vulnerability is semi-patched in iOS 14 as you probably remember from my previous video in which I talked with the developer via DMs and of course they explained the fact that it's semi-patched but it might be updatable in the future for iOS 14 if we are able to somehow swap the broken part that has been patched on iOS 14. A security researcher called RAS posted this quote so it's not a secret anymore. 08TC3WBB will present his iOS research he did with the Zecops at Black Hat Events EU. It's really interesting research and topic, believe me. Stay tuned. And yes, as it turns out, if you go ahead here on Black Hat Europe 2020, you can see that they do have the developer 08TC3WBB as a speaker on the event, and their talk is called Story of Jailbreaking iOS 13. And if you take a look in here on the description, they say, quote, this talk will cover in detail how a series of iOS vulnerabilities are exploited to achieve a jailbreak on 13.7. I'll be talking about the root cause techniques used during the exploit development to bypass the mitigations that are unique to iOS, ultimately get the privilege of reading and writing kernel memory, and demonstrate the potential malicious impact of the attack. The rest of my talk will be related to how these vulnerabilities were discovered and tips for reverse engineering. As an independent researcher, I hope to give some inspiration to the audience. So since this is going to be presented presented at Black Hat Europe 2020, which is going to be a virtual event taking place on December 7 to December 10. This is basically when we're going to get the exploit since it's going to be made public, so there is no reason to keep it private anymore. So that's basically the estimate for the exploit release. Early December. This does give time to Apple to completely patch the vulnerability, so I would definitely recommend it to stay on 13.7 or lower. If you have already updated the iOS 14.0, you're not doomed yet, but do not update further. 14.0 and 14.0.1 still do not patch these vulnerabilities in here completely. An important component of the vulnerability is patched according to the developer so the exploit doesn't work out of the box for iOS 14. So we will be able to update the uncover for 13.7 and lower on A12 and A13 right off the box when we get the exploit but we will not be able to update it to iOS 14 and 14.0.1 just yet. As I said the vulnerability is semi-patched, some of it still works some of the vulnerabilities are still present, but the most important one has been patched. If we want to make this vulnerability work for Uncover to be updated, we need to swap the patched component. But the problem is, we may not have another vulnerability that works with iOS 14 that we can chain with the rest. So while this vulnerability semi works on iOS 14, the way it works is no longer enough for a jailbreak, so we still need to add some more to it for iOS 14. But for the iOS 13.7 and lower, this is going to work out of the box, and of course, they confirmed the fact that they're going to give it to Pawn to Own to update the uncover. They told me that in private via DMs. Check out the video in the cards up here if you want to see the whole thing. So yeah, we're finally going to get this vulnerability, but probably the earliest we're going to get it is early December because that's when the Black Hat takes place. So until then, I would definitely not update further because there is no way for you to downgrade if you're on 14.0 or 14.0.1 at this point, even if you have blobs. The exploit hasn't been 100% past patched on iOS 14.0, but an important component has. So we still need a little bit more work for iOS 14, which will require swapping components and finding another vulnerability to replace the patched one. But yeah, stay as low as possible. Do not update the 14.2 when it comes out. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.